Good morning students. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the topic test of divisibility of chapter 6, multiples and factors. Okay, in the previous video, we have seen the test of 2, 5 and 10. So today, we are continuing in this video the test of 3, 9, 4 and 6. Okay, so let us start. First is test of 3 and 9. 3 and 9 we are keeping together because its test is seen. Okay. Here the sum of all digits are divisible by 3 or 9. Okay. If we are talking about 3, the sum of all digits are divisible by 3. Okay. So we can say that the given number is divisible by 3. With the help of example, first one is 3 test we are taking. Example is 1, 2, 3, 123. Okay. Condition is if the sum of all digits are divisible by 3. Means 1 plus 2 plus 3. Okay. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. The number that we are getting, that number is 6. Okay? And 6 is divisible by 3. Okay? Divisible by means, if we divide that number by the given number, there will be no remainder left. If remainder is left, that means that number is not divisible by the given number. Okay? Here we are using the term divisible that you should know the meaning of divisible. Divisible means if we divide the given number with any of the number leaving no remainder that means the number is divisible. Otherwise if remainder is left that means the given number is not divisible by that number. Okay. So for 3 and 9 the condition will be if the sum of all digits are divisible by 3 and if we are talking about 9, if the sum of all digits are divisible by 9. Okay, so we can say that the number is divisible by 3 or 9. Okay, so here we have seen the example of 3 that is 123. Okay, sum of all digits 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6. And 6 is divisible by 3. That means this is the example of test of divisibility of 3. Okay. Now next one is 9. 9 also the same condition. Example we are taking 549. Okay. Here also the same condition. The sum of all digits are divisible by 9. Okay, example is 549. Just add 5 plus 4 plus 9. Okay, 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. This 18 is divisible by 9. 9 into 2 equal to 18. Okay, so we can say that this 549 is an example of Nine. Okay, so next one is test of four. Okay, four test example. First, you have to remember the condition the last two digits are zeros. One condition is given, for example, 500. Okay, 500. If the last two digits are zeros, okay, so we can say that this number is divisible by 4, okay, first one. Now one more is there, or divisible by 4, okay, example 2068. You have to observe the last two digits, last two digits is 68 and 68 is divisible by 4. If you divide 68 by 4, there will be no remainder. 
under. Okay, so this two thousand sixty-eight and five hundred both are the examples of four, or can be divisible by four. Obeying the condition of this test, four test. What are the conditions given? Last two digits are zeros or divisible by four. We have to see last two digit of the given number. Okay, so last two digit here, if we are taking five hundred, its last two digit are zeros. So we can say that this five hundred is divisible by four. Another example we are taking two thousand sixty eight. This sixty eight is the last two digit, and this sixty eight can be divided by four, leaving no remainder. So we can say that two thousand sixty eight. Is divisible by four. Okay. Now next one is six. The number is divisible by both two and three. Okay. The number should obey the conditions of divisibility test of two and three both. Okay. If one we are taking, if the number is divisible by two and not divisible by three. So we cannot say that the number is divisible by six. Okay, the given number should be divisible by both two and three. Okay, so example here is twelve. Twelve. Example is twelve. This twelve, when we divide by two, we got six. That means. It is divisible by two, and if twelve divided by three, we got four, leaving no remainder. Okay, so we can say that this twelve is divisible by two and three both. So we can say that twelve is divisible by six. Okay, so for divisibility test of six. One number should be divisible by two and three both. Okay, so here we have seen the test of three and nine. Just have a recap: the sum of all the digits are divisible by three and nine. If you are talking about three, the number should be divisible by three when their all digits sum is divisible by. Three. Okay, we have taken the example one hundred and twenty-three. When we add one plus two plus three, we will get six, and six is divisible by three. Same with nine. Also, five hundred forty-nine example we took. Here also we added five plus four is nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Eighteen is divided by nine. Okay. So these are the examples of three and nine. Now four. In four, we have to learn or remember the last two digits are ya to zeros ya fir it should be divisible by four. Okay. Last two digits we have to observe. Example five hundred. Its last two digits are zeros. That means it is divisible by four. Next is two thousand sixty-eight. Its last two digits is sixty-eight, and sixty-eight can be divided by four. Okay, so this digit two thousand sixty-eight is divisible by four. Okay, now last one is sixth one. The number is divisible by both. Two and three. Okay. Here we have taken the example twelve. When we divide that twelve by two, answer is six, leaving no remainder. And when we divide that twelve by three, answer is four, no remainder is left. That means this twelve is divisible by two and three both. So we can say that twelve is divisible by six. Okay, so we have learned the test of divisibility. I hope you all understood. Okay, thank you.